Hi there, thank you for joining me today. We are in Psalm 28. We're just a few verses away from finishing up and gosh, it's good to be outside and you can see the, the steam coming as I exhale. It's, it's a crisp and glorious morning as we get to start our day or you know maybe you're joining me at the end of the day and you conclude your day uh, by being fed uh, the word of God and strengthened in your walk with Jesus. So in Psalm 28, verse 7, we'll get into that in just a moment. First, join me in prayer. Oh, Lord, minister your grace to our hearts. Pardon our sin. Strengthen us to walk faithfully and obediently as your people. And then I pray, God, that you would embolden our lips and our hands and our lives to be a witness to the gospel of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. For God, you are our strength and our joy, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, so David here, maybe you recall from a yesterday's lesson or the previous verse about how God hears us. And now David continues on in verse 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts, and I am helped. My heart exults, and with my song I give thanks to him. God is our strength. David recognizes this. God is his strength and shield. It's, it's God is the one who empowers him, and God is the one that encircles him as his shield. And, and David here is saying that, that his heart will be trusting in God. His heart is not going to trust himself. He's not going to trust his circumstances. He's not going to trust the size of his army or the, how big uh, his stockpile of gold is. His heart is going to trust God because God is really the only one that can help him. There's always going to be armies bigger. There's always going to be somebody that has more stuff, more wealth, more whatever. But nobody can out more God. And so David says, in my heart, I trust you and I am helped. Not only does my heart trust you, but my heart exalts in God. And it exalts in songs that give thanks to him. Now, what does this mean? How, how does this work out, perhaps, then, in our lives? Well, first, we can know that Jesus Christ is the rock upon which our lives are moored and built. Nothing, no earthquake, no tornado, no flood, no disaster of any kind can ever shake or loosen Christ, once our lives are built upon him, and, and he as the sovereign Lord and Savior is our shield, our help, we can trust him because he has helped us. We need not look further than the cross. He who is innocent suffered and died for we who are guilty. He paid our price. He stood in our place. He took upon himself what we deserve. Therefore, we can trust in him and in trusting him, as David says here in verse 7, I am helped. And not only do we live and reap the benefits of Christ as a Lord and Savior, but we can ex exalt in him. Not just trust him and, and then we're done. No, we continue to exalt. We continue to live in Christ. Paul actually says to live is Christ. Christ is his hour as we trust him. Christ is our life. And then we live to praise him. It's okay to walk through the grocery store and sing praises to Jesus. It's okay to uh, praise God whenever there is a good word or good news you hear. It's okay to cry out to God when... Uh, ever you hear of hardships or tragedies, we exalt in God. We live to sing his praise. Today, I hope you know that Christ is the strength God offers to you and to me. God 
in Christ offers us the safety that we need. Friends, as David did, call upon Christ. Praise him. Rejoice in him. Live in and for Christ and Christ alone. For he is good. I'll see you again tomorrow.